Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've had a great day. Um, I'm here replacing the cooling fan in my PS4 Pro here. Um, I'm going to show you as well how to replace the thermal pads, which I've already done, but I'll explain how I did that. And I'm going to replace the thermal paste, so I'll show you how I do that as well. But um, before we go ahead and start pulling it apart and replacing bits, um, just a disclaimer, I'm not a licensed electronics repairer at, by any means. Um, so if you're going to have a go at this, just be wary that if you break something, then um, that's on you. Um, in saying that though, you can follow this if you wish, totally up to you. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. If you're not confident enough pulling this apart, by all means, look up your local area to see if there is a local electronic shop around that will fix these or do these jobs for you. Um, I'm also doing this because mine is out of warranty, so there's no risk of me um, voiding my warranty because mine doesn't have one. Um, if yours is still under warranty, on the back here, um, guys, you can see that screw there and this screw here will have a black sticker over it. Obviously mine aren't there because I have replaced the thermal pads already. But yeah, I only took them off because mine's out of warranty. But normally there is a sticker over this screw and this screw you'll have to remove. Um, if it is still under warranty and those stickers are removed, you can void your warranty, so just be wary of that. Um, in saying that, we'll get into it. So, before I do tear it apart, the tools I am using are this little guy, this little Phillips head screwdriver for the tiny little screws that I need to get out. Um, can't remember the size of it, I think it's a 1, possibly a 2, but it is just one of those little precision screwdrivers, guys, so I'll be using that. Also, I'll be using this, just a plastic pick or lifting tool, just to help me with some of the wires and things. Um, also with me, guys, I'll be using this, because you do need it. That is this, it is the Torx head screw, so you, you can see the star shape of it. It is the one with the hole in it because you do need it. The screws on these do have the little nub in the middle that, that hole will go over. Um, it is a T8 bit there, T8 Torx bit, so that's what I'm using to get the screws out. Also, I'll be replacing this, which is the thermal grease. So by deep cool, I've got the Z3 thermal grease. So that's what I'll be putting on my APU chip in here for my thermal grease. I've got that. Also, my pads I'm using are upgraded. Took the old pads off and I've put the thermal grizzly minus pad 8 in here. Supposed to be really good everything I've seen and heard about them these are the top performer so I just got these guys so they should be good and my fan replacement is this one guys as you can see it's the quarterly I've said that right quarterly fan direct replacement for the one that comes in the PlayStation should just drop straight in so that's it guys, so we're going to put that in there and take the original out. Um, all the parts I am using in this I'll put in the description down below for you. So if you wish to get them for yourself, you are more than welcome. Again, you don't have to use the products I'm using. You can go with whatever product you choose to go with. And in saying that, we will get into tearing this thing down to get to the inside. So first things first, we'll come round to the back. Over here on this corner, just past your Ethernet cable connection there, is a plastic cover. 
So you can just pop it off with your finger, but just so you can see, I'll use this. You just get that in and it just pops out, just clips in. It's just a cover for your hard drive. And then we'll flip him over. And you can see here is the little screw you take out. So we'll get rid of that guys, take this screw out. Just like this. Set him aside where we won't lose him. And your hard drive just pulls out of the back of the PlayStation 4 Pro, just like so. That's it there, so we'll set that aside with the screw. Now that we've got the hard drive out, it's just a matter of getting this screw, this screw, and this screw here out. So there's where your Torx head bit comes in. Just like that, guys, straight in. And boom, there's one. Two and three over here guys like so so they're all out now it's just a matter now of pulling up gently on this corner and this corner just like this and then again on this corner gently lift slide it away from me so I'm pushing it away from my camera like so and the bottom plate comes off just like that guys so as you can see that's where our hard drive was living so um, what we'll do now before we take any of these screws out we'll just flip it over and we'll pop the top cover off which is pretty much the same just the corner here that says PS4 and the other one that says Sony just pull up on them gently like this You'll hear it clip open, like so again, lift and push back away, top cover comes off, here you can see the standard fan in there guys, a little bit dusty but not too bad, and then at the back here under this silver plate, this is the power supply, has three, sorry not three, has five screws, one here, one here, one here, another one over here and there, like so. So we'll take them out because you need to take them out to get the power supply out so we can take the plate and that off from the other side. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the first two up the front are longer than the back ones. So there you go, as you can see, that's them, they're long ones. And then we'll take these ones out. It's like that, they're just those little guys, little silver ones. And they will go into all your plastic threads. So you can't really get it wrong. And this last one over here, pop that out. So there's all the screws for the power supply. This metal plate thing does come off, so we'll set that aside as well. Flipping back over. And then we'll have to take, you can see there's a series of these silver Torx head screws all around. There's two there, another one there. Another one there and they go right around this plate there's four over here on the hard drive bay so we will go ahead and take them out guys one at a time and that will reveal the motherboard just like so Four down here. A couple of these do screw into your power supply, so that's why we have to flip it over to take these out, or the power supply won't actually come out. We don't want to risk breaking anything. Another one there. Um, like I said, I have done my thermal pads already, so um, also on this plate there'll be little little black screws so those little guys 
there's a series of them and they live in here so they're metal to metal so you'll have one there you'll have another one over here you'll have four around your antenna chip and these wires here and you'll have a series of these black screws along here as well so i've had them removed already because like i said i've had my thermal pads done um, then all we need to do is unplug the original fan over here so you can just wiggle it gently pops out don't pull too hard because if you do break it then you'll need to fix those wires um, these aerial wires guys this is what I want this pick for is for these I'll just put them under there and gently lift it just like so and then on this one and then the white one pop them off and then these ones you really have to be careful with guys is your ribbon cables so there's one over here so we'll just lift him out of that socket there there's another one here that we'll lift out of this socket and then we just pull that one out there that one out there that one out there there is a clamp on this big one here so you just lift him up gently he'll come out and they're all the ribbon cables that will run your disk drive and motors and bits and pieces down that side now that that's done all the screws out this metal plate will come out just be careful of your aerial wires as you can see there now that's the motherboard under there I'll just get that wire out of the way so over here we have the APU clamp so there's the APU clamp and then all these chips here are the RAM chips um, that's what I'm putting new thermal pads on which I already have and normally on top of that is this plate guys that sits normally on like that over there and as you can see on the back I have my new thermal pads thermal grizzly all lined up just like that you can stick them down on the chip and then put the plate on I just did it the other way put them on my plate because under the plate sorry on the plate under the thermal pads there's a little nub of metal so you can just put your pad on there to line them up and it should line up with your chips but if you want to make sure just like I did I just cut them and sat them on my chips and then put that plate on and, and they're perfectly lined up um, in saying that now we will just get my number two star headed bit like that and we'll take this clamp off so it's just the four screws guys um, I don't know the official name for these screws but I'm just going to call them a top hat screw just because they remind me of a top hat but there's four of them I'll sit them aside guys just like so be careful with your motherboard too guys because you don't want to slip and hopefully damage any of the finer parts around the chips or any of the solder joints because then you could be in trouble if you don't realize you've done it be hard tracking down which one you did it to so yeah just be careful let me just lift that clamp off we take this plate off that's under the clamp which is just protecting all those little fuses i guess they are or power supplies to the apu the ram chips and stuff in saying that all our cables are detached so the motherboard can lift up so to get the mother see before we get the motherboard out we'll flip it back over but so i don't damage anything there i'll just put the case under that i will flip the motherboard over and that's our power supply guys so to get that out just on either side lift gently and it should pop out so under here you can see the heat sink there and under here you have 
two metal prongs just there that go up into that hole there to two connectors. This is the one we really, really want to be careful of because you do not want to rip the outer socket off the motherboard because then you'll be in all sorts of trouble. So all I do is I just grab it, give it a little wiggle, little bit of pressure, and it'll just pop out like that. So that's how you want it to come out. We want that one to stay there and we want that plug to come with us. That's the power supply right there guys taken out. So we'll sit that aside because it's still in good working order. All right, now we'll flip the PlayStation back over guys. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Don't do that guys. So that's the motherboard. After me just saying be gentle, so we'll just move these thermal pads and put them on here. Like I said, all my thermal pads have been replaced. And I'll show you in a minute where I'm putting them. So they just sit on that bracket there, guys, on that metal plate, and they go on all these chips here well, not the chips but these little blocks just to help with the heat um, I've also put one on my HDMI chip to help keep that a bit cooler I don't know if it's necessary but that just gives me a bit of peace of mind you don't have to do it this is your APU chip we're going to clean all that off and put new stuff on but uh, that is your motherboard, guys. And just be careful not to bend these pins because they go back into your power supply. So we'll set the motherboard aside for now, guys. We'll get down to... We'll bring this back over. So on this side, that's the wire to the fan. As you can see, the side of the fan is just there. That's what we want to get to. We'll also clean that stuff, thermal paste off that conductor there. Um, eventually, we'll get to that. So to get this plate out, guys, there's a little Phillips head screw there. And there's one over here. So we just unscrew those like so. Sit that aside, get this one as well. And this is something um, I did overlook when I was cleaning my PlayStation. So just pop the top, clean the fan, but under here you lift this plate out carefully, making sure not to damage the wire. So you lift it from front, slide it forward, and there is our fan. Before I get to the fan, that's the guy that I didn't clean. That's your heat sink. That's what helps cool your APU chip. So you can keep that reasonably clean. If that gets clogged up with dust and that restricts your airflow. And now to get to the fan, this is your disk drive. Like I said, all those ribbon cables run that. So to get the fan out guys, there's just a little screw in this corner, move that if you can see it, and there's one down there, so we'll unscrew those, just that one, and then this one, and then that fan just lifts straight out, just like that, that's my old one. It's getting really noisy. It still works. I will keep it as a backup. So we're going to put in the new one. Put in the new one. And it just slots straight back in like so. You can line it up pretty easy because there's a plastic peg just here. If you can see that. Just there lines up with that hole. There's one over here too that lines up with that hole. And it's just straight in. 
Um, again, where the screw goes, there's a little triangle etched into the metal. So that's where the first screw goes. Same there, one etched into there. So you can see it doesn't have one on that. So there's no screw for that one. So now the fans in, we'll just put the screws back in. If I can do it. <laughs> of course I can. That one back in there. And this one back in there. Like so. And that's the fan replaced, guys. It's that simple. Um, so from there, now the fan's in. Um, we will put the heat sink back in. So it's just back end in first on a slight angle. Like so, make sure your wires are out of the way, especially your ribbon cables. We'll just get this, we'll get the white one out of the way. Ribbon cables. Nice, that sits back in place just like so. Um, while we're here, just to clean that goop off. That all I'm using is a um, cotton tip and some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. That's all you need to clean that off. So we'll just give that a wipe and get most of that off. And we'll dip this end in the alcohol. And we'll just clean up any of the residue there guys just like that comes off not too bad so just give that a nice clean all over oh lovely that's beautiful we can get a dry one just to give that a bit of a dry off if you want but it's isopropyl alcohol so just let it sit for a few minutes and it'll evaporate but there we go much off as we can lovely that's nice and clean so now we can go ahead and put back the two screws that hold this plate down if I showed you the takeout so one goes back here in this hole and again there's that little triangle it's back in that hole the other one back in that hole and little triangle just there marking it so we'll go ahead and put them back in guys just like so and then that'll be the heat sink back in and all I did with the thermal pads is it comes in a strip like this guys that's the thermal pad thermal grizzly so you can see that nice shine and texture to it. That's actually a plastic film, one on either side. So when you cut it to size, you actually need to peel that off like so. If you can see that, you need to peel that off both sides of that. And it will stick to where you need to put it. And then you can just store it back in the bag because it does come in its own Ziploc bag, which is cool. So that's how you do your thermal pads guys, cut it to size, take plastic film off either side and just stick it to where you want it. So now we'll bring the motherboard back, oh, sorry about that guys, I bumped my camera because I'm the cameraman as well as the video maker. I'll just put the thermal pad back on there. Anyway, sorry about that guys, we'll bring the motherboard back and we'll clean up the APU the same way, so we just get the cotton tip, just using it dry at the moment just to get all this excess stuff off and out of the way, like so, get another one, clean off a bit more of that.
much off as I can. All right, now we'll get some more alcohol and give it a proper clean. And we'll just clean it up here like this, guys. Be, don't need to be rough, just nice and gentle. As you can see, it's cleaning up quite nicely. Like so. Do on top of the chips, it looks all nice and shiny and silver. Just get another cotton tip, guys. We'll do that again. Clean the top of that off. And we'll just go around the sides. Try and clean as much of the older stuff off as I can. We'll try not to leave Hopefully no cotton threads behind. Gently clean it. Can't get all of it off. As long as you can get the majority of it off, guys. So... Just have one more go at that. Okay, that's about the best I'll get it. So we'll just get a dry one. We'll wipe off any alcohol residue lovely and that's what your chip should look like once you have it clean nice shiny silver and all we need now is the new thermal grease so we'll get that out of the packet and there it is just comes in a syringe like that guys you just pop the cap off and you don't need a lot. We'll just put a little bit down the centre here. And that should be perfect. Like I said, you don't need a heap. That's about all you need, guys. A nice thin line. You can spread it, I guess, as a spreader did come in the thermal grease kit like this you can spread it out but I don't think it's necessary because once you tighten it down and the clamp goes back on you screw the clamp down then it'll spread it out itself or just get rid of that bit of a tail so that's the new thermal grease and the thermal pads and the fan is in so to put the motherboard back in guys all them bits there Got your connections, they go to the back in on a slight angle, like so, like that. Line it up, and then we'll just sit it into place again, making sure all our fragile wires and that are out of the way, like so. And it'll just sit into place like that, guys. Just like that. And it's pretty easy to line up as well. Just that hole there goes on that peg. Fan socket to the fan wire side. All your ribbon cable connections on the ribbon cable side. Your aerial chip around your aerial wires. So it's not too hard to get it mixed up. Then after that... We um, will connect the fan wire. So we'll just put the fan wire connector in. The fan wire does have a little groove on the top there. You just line that up with the notch in that. Just like so. And we'll just push him in till. He's nice and firm, don't need to overdo it. 
We'll go through and put the ribbon cables back in gently. And this one over here, nice gentle push. And then all the ones down the side, nice. And this one in here. Again, don't need to be too rough with them. That one into there, guys. Then the big one into his slot, and we'll close a little clamp. That's all the ribbon cables in place, just like so. So now it's just the aerial cables, which down here, the white one will go on there. That black one there will go there. The other black one will go over here. But before we put them on, the, the top metal plate has to go back on. So it's this guy. And you can see this notch here. Same on the bottom one, the white aerial cable goes through that and before we put that plate on we will clamp down the APU again nearly got ahead of myself so we just put this protective plate back on lines up with the two holes put our clamp back on there's a little nub on the bottom there which point faces down onto the clamp and then we get our top hat um, screws and we'll line the holes up just like so and I'll get this one to bite for a few threads just like that I won't tighten it down just yet and I'll put the other three in to, and I'll do the same just bite down a couple of threads That one, and again with this one, and then I'll tighten that down in a cross pattern. So that one, then the opposite. This is just how I like to do it. And this one again, I think it gives it a more of an even clamp down. Again, don't over tighten them, just to, just tighten them till they stop and can't go anymore. And then again, all your RAM chips, like I said, you can sit the thermal pad on the RAM chip. Or like I have, you can see the little bump there, there's a little nub under there. But to line mine up, I put them on the chip first and then I sat the plate down. So this plate just goes like that. Not hard to do and when you're taking that plate off you just undo the little black screws that go in each of those holes around there and there's a little lip on this side and that side that you can get this under to just lift it or a fingernail and then we will get back to putting that on so we'll put the black screws back in it guys these little tiny guys they're really small so Make sure you have a container or something to put them in so you don't lose them. Oh, real fiddly for big fingers like mine. So there's eight screws in total that go around this plate. And it just to me looks like a protection plate but that's fine. We'll put it back in because it was there. Apologise for any of the background noise guys, I've got my little fella at home, he's tripping out of the room I'm doing this in, he's just curious.
So that's all the black screws back in the plate there, guys, as you can see. Now we can put that top plate on. Like I mentioned before, that notch there is where the white wire goes through. So you sit him. He just sits on there just like that. Now we'll put the wires on, so you just push them back on to those little slots. So the white one goes back to this one here. You hear that little click? This black one goes on this one. And then this one that I tucked away, he'll go into that little groove there as a little wire holder. It's like so. You just Push him in, not with too much force, but he'll just sit in those little clamp groove bits there and he'll run along, he'll hook under that little tab just to keep it out of the way and then it'll connect onto that bit there and that's the aerial connected and then there's four black screws go around that to hold it down. And some more little black screws, about five run along the back there. And another one here, another one over there. So we'll go ahead and put them guys in. And then we can put the silver ones in. There's my screwdriver. So put one over here guys. We'll screw him down just like so. Pretty simple. And screw him down there like that. And we'll just keep going. Now we're on to the back lot over here. Again, you don't need to tighten these up too tight. I just hand tighten them up until they can't really turn anymore without a little bit of force. And then the last two in here near the Wi-Fi Bluetooth aerial. Pretty sure it does both. Like so, now that they're in guys, we can go around and put in the big silver guys, the torque screws. Um, but before we do them, I'll just flip it over and we'll reconnect our power supply. So we'll put it back in, so we'll just connect that wire back into the connector. And then we'll sit that in. Like so, push it down because it does go on those two metal prongs like I said. And there's the power supply in while we're here, I might screw that down. Put the plate back on. Again the two long screws. Sorry, so these two guys go there and the same on the other side in there so we'll just drop them in there like so get our torque drive piece and we'll tighten them up one and two and then we'll put the bottom back three in on the power supply like so Again, a few apologies for the camera work as I'm trying to do this all by myself, but that's okay, I'm getting there. Go there. Put that one in there. And that one. 
one in there. Yes, my little fella's back. We can hear him eating twisties in the background. Right, now we'll finish putting the rest of these silver guys around this plate. It's really easy to see where they go. It's every screw hole that has a silver screw in it. Like this one, for example, has that triangle next to it. As you can see, these ones don't. This one has a screw because it has the triangle next to it. So any hole there, the triangle next to it like that, that's where your silver screws go. And we'll get busy putting them guys in. So we've got one there. I'll screw him down. We'll screw that guy down. And we'll just keep going until they're done. Now, another reason why I'm replacing the fan is my you're wondering why because you know PS5's out now and why not just buy a PS5 trade it in blah 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 it's like yeah I was thinking of doing that but my awesome loving wife said why don't I just buy the PS5 outright for myself and um, so you can put the PS4 in the other room and because they both can play together still and it's backwards compatible we might be able to game together so that's why I'm making this one hopefully as quiet as I can I just put the cover back on that's the wrong way around because I'm a goose You put that on there and you line those little tabs up with the gaps, pull it towards you, snaps back into place and then your three torque head screws just go back in where they came from, the back and then that's your back, back all screwed in and the top bottom plate put back on. While we're there, we'll put the hard drive back in. Just like so. Put the screw, hard drive retention screw back in. And that cover goes back on like so. Flip him over. And the top plate goes back on. Put the back corners on first, pull him forward, line him in, slot him down, and then you just gentle push, and you'll hear that snap into place. And there it is, all back together, guys. So we just tore it apart, it's got new thermal pads, new thermal paste, new fan. Um, so that's it. I'll also include in this video. How loud it was before and then we'll try and fig see how it runs after so that'll be in this video too at the end I'll put that on there the before and after so yeah uh, if you like this video and it you think it's gonna be helpful please give it a thumbs up smash that like button for me if you haven't yet done so Please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hopefully if you're thinking of doing the same as what I'm doing with this and my wife taking it or your partner or whoever, maybe for your kid and it's a bit loud and you want to quieten it down, um, by all means, go ahead and have a good shot at that. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.